I am going to do something that I've never done before. I'm going to play Fox. Well, it's not the first time I've played Fox, but it's the first time I've foxed it at somebody. Wait, uh, really? Yeah. What? Because I, you may not know this, but I dabble in Peach. Yeah, Ooh. and uh, it's definitely my better character right now. I'm ashamed, but I'm going to mix it up and do a little fox, because uh, we have a fox homie. Hell yeah. Let's do it. All right. Um, it's probably also good, because Peach is my best matchup. <laughs> is it? Have you... Uh, yeah. have, have you been sticking it to blade wise for the last couple of years? Uh a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> well, that's good <laughs> that's good enough for me. I don't want to deal with any of that. <laughs> but also Aura lives in Oregon and you know mm -hmm. I do pretty do pretty good against him. Had have, have to play him like two times every week for years, so Yeah. That's oh. my it's my comfort matchup at this point. <laughs> for sure. Um what uh stage do you want to do over the course of 99 stocks think about it in those uh, terms not like where you like the fox ditto but what do you think would be the most fun over time um i, I think battlefield dreamland or stadium are all fine mm -hmm. probably leaning towards battlefield a little bit i don't know if you have a preference out of those three you really it's interesting that you say that because i was just thinking about uh, melee stages, and I think Battlefield is probably the most boring stage. Really? Because, I mean, the gameplay is fine, but where Battlefield really, like, handicaps uh, is recovery. You have to recover so specifically, and it takes away, like, your recovery options. So, you know, there's just, there's huh. less, right. I mean, when you yeah, think when you think about when you think about it competitively, you're like, oh yeah, I'll win the honest fight, and then once they're off stage, they're dead. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just like uh, my Lord and Savior Hacks always said, uh, <laughs> you know, if you're off stage a hundred times, you lose a hundred stocks, and he's the battlefield king. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> I out of those three, I think I like Dreamland the best. Okay, I'm down for Dreamland. I like Dreamland. I would have said Stadium, but uh, for some reason, and I don't know if this is some sort of glitch that happens, but uh, Stadium doesn't transform. I, I, I don't get it. I don't know what's happening. Uh, what a what a shame. Yeah, there's a, there's something going <laughs> wrong. I just I sit there for hours and hours and hope that it's gonna you know <laughs> it just just won't transform and it won't <laughs> is, is that happening to everybody? Um, I I you know I haven't been paying attention. It might be happening to me. I'll, I'll like I'll, <laughs> I'll report on it next time. I yeah, keep your eye out for that because uh, it hasn't been working for me. Uh, <laughs> and you know what? Uh, not to like jump ahead of myself, but. Yeah, I'm trying to do these 99 stock battles. I got an awesome guest this week, and I have an awesome guest next week. Next week, I will be grilling Fizzy, the uh, creator of Rollback, and I'm going to try to beat him so hard that he reinstates <laughs> <laughs> stadium transformations. <laughs> but uh, that's next week. This is now, so... What's the uh, most stocks you've taken in one of these? Um, I think I took 78 off uh, Bobby Big Balls. Some, oh, okay. Somewhere around there. I have the stats over there. And, like, the least I've taken was against Zane. It was... Oh. I think yeah. I took, like, 20 <laughs> or something. So, <laughs> something, something. That actually makes complete sense. Something awful. And I was Fox, you know what I mean? I, I kind of well, led I... into it. <laughs> Leaned into it. It's all right. Yeah. I'd probably take, like, 25. <laughs> <laughs> and uh actually uh not to get ahead of two weeks from now but uh i might also have something set up with uh this guy don't test me <laughs> yeah. that uh that might be fun but he's kind of uh he's kind of whoring it out we're seeing a little too much he needs to <laughs> he know he knows he needs to uh you know keep that for special occasions the content but yeah i'm ready when you are yeah, yeah i'm good all right. Um, All right, good luck. Oh, I'll need some luck where I'm going.
<laughs> Alrighty. So, like, whoa, shit, I, like... <laughs> I totally forgot we were about to play melee. I was oh. still in like hand warmer mode. I was like, oh, oh no. First stock. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I didn't. I didn't know you took those. All right. Uh, I take them because I'm gonna need to take every single thing. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm gonna run away for infinite amount of time. Infinity, yeah. <laughs> oh man. So how is uh, how's Oregon treating you? I actually love Oregon so much. Yeah. It's such a great state. Is it? Like. All right. I have a question, and I, I don't want it to. I was thinking about this today. Is it called, is it both Oregon or Oregon? No. Uh, if you say Oregon, like, you... we, we all know, we all know you've never been to Oregon. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Good. Because I was, I was afraid that it was the opposite. I was afraid that I would be like, oh, how's Oregon? Oh. Uh... And you would be like, uh, it's what they, it's a piano with like big uh, things on it. Oregon? Yeah. It's a piano and they play it in church. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. That's glad. Because if I ever make it to Oregon, mm -hmm. I know. You'll, you'll know how to know like a outsider. Hell yeah. Nice Armada shine. Thank you. Thank you. I've been practicing them. Hell yeah. With my boy, Uncle Punch. Or just... Yeah. I mean, now, honestly, just for friendlies. Right, too, yeah. You could just play infinite amount of spaces now. Isn't that amazing? Unranked, actually, it's so nuts. And I'm glad you're getting Fizzy on, because... Yeah, I gotta... Uh, he, he's a cool dude. I want to hear him talk for, like, an hour. Oh, yeah. People like uh, him... Also, I got, like, p Tass that said he'll play. Which is... It's funny, because oh, yeah. these guys said... They, like, never play. They're just, like, those kind of guys. Right. So it'll be it'll be interesting one to see them play and then two to just talk to them because those guys are awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I have no idea who P Test plays. I feel I, like he's a Falcon. I, I think he, a... I actually do think he plays Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the gut feeling, like. <laughs> those... oh, wait, I think it's actually I think his Twitter profile is a Falcon like hitbox. No, I, th I, I think it's a uh, invincible uh, fox up tilt. It's it. Oh God. Yeah. I don't know. Uncle oh, Punch has the uh, the Kirby Falcon hat. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can get him on here. I just, dude, I love these because I just get to hang out with people that I think are cool. We get to have a good time. I get to lose a million socks. <laughs> people always kind of think about this and they're like, "Oh, this is gonna take forever," but it really doesn't. It'll be, it'll nah. be, it'll be gone by the time you know. You look up, you're like, oh shit, you only have 30 stocks. Embarrassingly enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm surprised I got that. I have a friend who does that. He just, he'll, he'll like throw you off and then he'll just crouch and some, like that shouldn't work, right? Uh-huh. Everything about like melee, <laughs> like that shouldn't work, but it does. And I don't know why. Shit. <laughs> oh. Yo, Zets, welcome to the stream. It's a rare stream. We got some fun people here. So I need an update, or not an update, but like a reminder of the whole Delaware Dan and the Delaware meme. Okay, so I literally just stole it from a friend. It's Vino, the um, the puff player from Washington. I don't know if you've heard of him. Well, like, he's pretty good. Well, you know what? So, I thought like, you were gonna say Vino, the Marth player from New York, which uh, nah. I like. I would like to strangle. <laughs> Wait, <why>? <laughs> <laughs> no, we just kind of have that kind of like aggressive relationship. <laughs> uh huh. To be fair, a lot of people want to strangle the other Vino as well, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I think his tag on like Discord was just Delaware Dan one day. And this was during the, um, like the Anthos era. Mm -hmm. And I was a gigantic Smurfer. I would just make Smurfs like every day. Dude, you and, and me are the same. I. <laughs> I have, like, a note in my phone just full of funny names that I just, <laughs> I cycle through. Yeah, same. Eventually, I had so many that I had to make, like, a Google Doc that was like, all right, so this one is Pichu69, and the password's like, I love Pichu420. It's just, like, stuff like that. Yeah, it yeah. It's full of... I, um... Yeah, I do that a lot. Sometimes... 
The only I'll switch here and there if I get like a funny idea or someone just destroys me. You know what I mean? Like it takes my soul. That's how you get rid of one of my uh my tags. <laughs> because I can't go post like a combo later with that same name and like, you know. Right. More people will know it's me and they'll be like, Oh, I destroy not not that I really care, you know what I mean? I just mm -hmm. uh that's a good point to move on. What's up, Jarvis? And then um I have this thing which I hope I hope uh, takes off. It's uh, I will PayPal somebody if they can <laughs> identify me via my play style. Just tell me what the Smurf is. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, because it's only happened once. One time someone messaged me saying GGs when I was playing my Smurf, and I was like, no way. It's only <laughs> it's only happened once so far, and you think it would happen more. Oh, but oh yeah, with um, Delaware Dan. So I make this Smurf account, and for some reason I decide I want to play Sheik on it. I was just like in a Sheik mood that day, mm -hmm. and I like play a PR player, and I just like destroy him because he he was playing Marth, mm -hmm. and you know that matchup's easy. Oh yeah. So like, so then I just like had to think on the fly. I I came up with a backstory for Delaware Dan, and he was like, here's this 16 year old kid who moved to Sisters, Oregon, which is some like garbage town in Oregon that I've never heard of, like, still. <laughs> Other than, it was on Anthem's Ladder. And, like, he moved from Delaware, and he, like, works on his parents' farm. <laughs> so, I, like, <laughs> so I convinced this PR player that this, like, kid exists. And then I went to one of our locals, and I entered as Delaware Dan, and I won it. And oh, then yeah. I, like, messaged him, and I was like, oh, did you see that Delaware Dan guy? He, <laughs> he won a local. <laughs> and that's, um... Kind of how the the legacy of Delaware Dan started. Mm -hmm. um, so oh, yeah. now whenever I Smurf or like if other if there's a tournament I don't want to take it too seriously. I'll also enter as like Delaware Dan if I don't want people to overthink like results or something. Right. Yeah. No. That's that's definitely cool. I uh, I'm glad I have. Uh... Now who else is a part of the Delaware? Because the last time we talked, <laughs> uh, there was a whole Delaware clan. Right. Stango so, might actually be from Delaware. I'm not oh, sure. He's, he's literally from Delaware. Yeah, uh, him, him and Dan. So he's, players. he's he's actually Delaware Nick. Yeah, yeah. What was um, oh, what was Stango's tag before Stango? It was... Oh, uh, Lawn Chair? Yes, Lawn Chair. <laughs> the PM player. Oh, I still call him that sometimes. I'm glad you provided me. I love Lawn Chair. <laughs> But dude, I think I think the weekend of five pit. I think we were all from Delaware on that glorious weekend. I uh, I was rewatching some of the commentary that we did, and it, I was laughing so hard it just uh. You may have thought it was a bit, but it was that mole was the mole where uh, Apps and Page like just lost his mind and said like. Oh yeah. I want to kill Mewtwo King, like <laughs> you know what I mean, like. With a gun mm. or some shit, and like, dude, I was, yeah, I was you're watching. Not from the tournament the next day. Yeah, uh, I was watching him live tweet. Like, I was watching the tweets on my phone, and then looking up and seeing like him sitting in a chair doing it, and I was like, "This is amazing." Yeah, I'm, no, I'm like, it was. <laughs> so, Mewtwo King messaged me, and he was like, "Hey, I saw Austin Page's Twitter. Like, can you?" <laughs> like, and I know you all are at the same tournament. Can you go go up to him and make sure he's not like actually Serious. threatening me? Yeah. <laughs> and so I like go up to him and I'm like, oh hey, absent page. Like, Mutine's kind of concerned. You should uh like tell him that you're joking, mm -hmm. even though like even though I don't even get the joke. Like you're just like saying that you're gonna kill him. And he's and, like, and he was like, what joke? <laughs> Dog, basically, he was, <laughs> he was just like. Oh, but I'm not joking. And then he laughed in, like, a really weird way that, like, didn't seem like he was joking. And so then I messaged Mewtwo King. I'm like, uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> like, uh, kind of kind of a weird situation. Yeah, that's, then, uh, uh... Not only was he tweeting, like, these Mewtwo King death threats, he was, like, tweeting these, like, super, like, weird, like, <laughs> life is meaningless I have no purpose, blah, 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 kind of things. So, that's how I started my commentary, with uh, my, <laughs> my take on absent page tweets. <laughs> but no, that was uh, definitely a lot of fun. 
Yeah, I don't know. Very uh, weird situation. Yeah, yeah. Actually, well, I wonder what Apps Major's doing now. Dude, I bet you he's, you know, working at the sickest Wendy's <laughs> in <laughs> South Dakota ever. <laughs> Wait, is that where he's from? I think he's, he, yeah, Absent Page is from somewhere super Page. obscure, like, somewhere northern. Not like Montana or something, but like, might as well be. Uh-huh. This is so fun, I haven't had a single, like, thought about melee this whole time. <laughs> Which is, you know, I'm, uh, I was very impressed today when I watched your stream how good you are at talking and, like, like mindlessly playing and it's like oh, yeah. something <laughs> like you could struggle with because i don't stream a lot uh so like mm -hmm. i definitely sometimes just don't really even know what i'm doing it's all this weird olive autopilot but uh right. yeah i learned i learned a lot i learned a lot about ramen actually <laughs> dude my stomach actually is still kind of upset from that ramen yeah did you but... you switched it up you did some some different ramen Oh, oh, um, well, I had a sub goal to eat spicy ramen. So I, so I ate, like, very spicy ramen on stream. And, like, it's, like, messing up my stomach. <laughs> yeah, for anyone watching, I have a sub goal, too. It's, uh, if I get three subs, I will send a pipe bomb to Mewtwo King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. In, uh, in honor of Absent Page's one-year ban. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't know if I should be laughing at that. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is you can, you can do whatever you want. I mean, I watched that guy eat a bar soap. So, actually, no, that's a that's a long time joke. Uh, but there was once upon a time where I think I don't know if it was a Reddit thread or it might be old enough that it was a Smashboards thread where. Uh, damn, I miss all these texts. Uh, there was just people sharing YouTube King stories. And, like, you know, those can be wild, right? If you've ever wow. met Mewtwo King, he's super tame now and just doing his stream thing. But back when he was, like, living on Smash in, like, that weird way uh, and just struggling through life, there were some crazy Mewtwo King stories. He definitely, like, lived on, like, a million couches. Mm -hmm. It's like, and if you've met Mewtwo King, like, in, like, the 2014 or, like, before, mm -hmm. and you, you read those stories, you're like, yep. I actually believe all these. Every word of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't think anyone's exaggerating, which is also kind of wild. He definitely did a lot of couch surfing and a lot of other things on couches, if you want to get back and uh, read some of that. But, um, yeah, one of those, like, someone wrote this story. It was, like, a shorter one. It was, like, <laughs> only, like, three or four paragraphs. But it basically was, like, he... He took a shower before me, and I got into the shower, and I saw a big bite missing out of my soap. <laughs> Literally human teeth. <laughs> so. Uh, I should have killed you for that. And because I know Music King like that, I think I think he did it. He's d he's done worse. <laughs> Eating the bar of uh, soap is uh, pretty tame, <laughs> to be honest. But. Uh, <laughs> That's a story for another day. Um, hmm. That was weird. I didn't expect you to go that way. Maybe the slightest of DI. Maybe you're a god. Maybe. Maybe. These are all... To be fair, I'm not trying to play around shine back here. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it is conveniently working out to where I'm not getting hit by it. Mm -hmm. So I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, um, you know what is also funny about this, uh, you and me doing this right now, is that if, actually, you know what, I was thinking about this, Big House was supposed to be this week, you know what I mean, or this weekend, and right. I was kind of, like, still, because it didn't happen, I was still imagining, like, real Big House in my head, like, oh, I would have been hanging out with Lawn Chair and Delaware Dan, you know what I mean, definitely would have hit those guys up, but, uh. Alas, Nintendo. And I don't want to get too ahead of myself because I have Fat Goku and Fizzy and don't test me on the on the way. But I'm also going to be playing Sakurai in a 99 stock match. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm also going to be playing Mario Mario. <laughs> so look out for those streams. 
Oops. People still run into that. You know what I mean? I love, I love that Fox hasn't changed in a million years. He has, nah. but he hasn't. No, foxes will run into up tilt until freaking forever. I don't know. Until no one plays Fox anymore, because we're all playing Marth. Do you think that's the way? Do you think uh, a lot of people are gonna drop uh, spaces for Marth here in the coming, you know, little bit? I don't, probably not. Like I don't think I'm ever gonna switch. Mm -hmm. But I do think that, like, Marth might be the best character. Oh, that's interesting. Which is weird. I haven't thought that in a while. Zane's kind of convincing me though. Right. Um, he might also just be better than everyone. Oh, uh, well, he's definitely showing that right now. Um, but an interesting thing to think about is uh, how this new doc that's going to come out, how it's going to, like, like portray certain people and characters. Because, like, if they really ramp up, like, Armada, like, and, like, how great he was, you might see a resurgence in Peach or something. You know oh, what I mean? Actually, I didn't think about that. That's actually pretty neat. Yeah, because, like, you know... They didn't do the best of portraying Mango, but they really did, like, uh, make, like, PC Chris look like the coolest human, which he is. So, right. like, they didn't really have to. Stuff like that. And, like, people really, like, identified with, like, you know, things like that. So, yeah, I'm I'm excited for what comes out of that. The second wave of Doc Kids are going to be something else. And with all the, like, tools that we have nowadays... The second wave of Doc Kids are going to be good within the year. They're going to be good so fast. They're going to be and good like, so fast. I don't know. Also with Unranked and like kind of the skill pool of Unranked players, mm -hmm. I feel like it's going to be easier to get into Melee and like after the Doc than honestly ever. It's mm -hmm. really exciting. Like I think this would have been by far the best year for Melee, aside from maybe... 2013 if it wasn't for covid just like <laughs> oh everything. right yeah things are things are moving i'm just so thankful that uh mid quarantine that we got like this like net play was all right but this rollback is just you know it's so much better it has made like tournaments like happen it's not like because if it was just like net play tournaments of the past like you can only really play like a state or two away really yeah uh it would have been really old seeing, like, I don't know, Hbox versus Zane, like, all the time or something like that. Right. You can only just get so many matchups, like... S like Mango versus Zane could never have, a, like, a meaningful set on mm -hmm. old, old Melee. Also, yeah, and if they couldn't play, it'd be like... I mean, who knows when this is going to end, or if it won't end, but, like, you know, things kind of get back to, a, like, a normal state... We would have had a gap of, like, Mango Zane for, like, years. Almost to the point where Mango might have, like, not cared. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, super thankful for Rollback and Fizzy and all that. Because, really, if you think about, like, that big of a gap in time, it might have been really bad for Melee. I mean, think about Ultimate right now. You know what I mean? We would kind of be in yeah, that it's, boat. it's so rough. We're like, yeah, yeah, people can play, but it's definitely not the same. It's just, and it's like not even that it's not the same. It's just like it's like not even close to the same. Right. So yeah. I think faster melee, like it was all right. I mean, you could at least play people from other states, but ultimate mm -hmm. just is not playable. <laughs> right. <laughs> Online. Mm -hmm. No, like Slippy is actually one of the best things that ever happened to melee, and it and it happened at such a perfect time where no one can leave their houses. Oh, yeah. No, that's what I was saying. Like, ooh, nice shorten. Thank you. Oops. Yeah, no, super thankful for that. It's it's great. So, have you taken a lot of advantage of that? Are you a uh, net play tourney guy? Do you play a lot of, like, tournaments? I know you had a good um, slippy championship league run. Or whatever that's called. The, uh, like, summit. Right, right. Um... I was for a long time, and then Ooh. oh, I'm so shocked with that. Hit. Man, that's insane. I was actually that was just luck. That's <laughs> real. That's... Um, <laughs> I was actually I was like one of the early grinders of online tournaments because I'm like such a competitive fiend that even though I didn't care that much about the tournaments, like I just needed to do them. 
Why um, can't I tech these? <clears throat> and only, only like as of late, like maybe the last couple weeks, I realized that competing in online tournaments didn't really make me very happy. And so, like, currently, right now, I just care about, like, streaming and... Yeah. I don't know. But I guess it's basically just streaming. Yeah, I, I've i kind of been on the way out for, like, tournaments for a good while. Uh, I just... Competing to me... I mean, the way I looked at it is, like, even... Think if you could be as good as Armada was, right? I mean, mm. like, put in years of work, dedicated, like, you know, time, and then you get to that point and you're still... People don't even, like... There's still people that are like, oh, yeah, Mango's better, or, like, Hungry Box is better, <laughs> and, like, you're always, like, you know, fighting this. And, like, if you're cool with that, cool, but, like... I mean, it's ne competition never ends. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, so... It's like... I've thought about this a lot, and, like... It's like, if you quit and you're not, like, are you ever, like, truly happy with your legacy? Because there's always, if you're not the GOAT, there is someone who has a better legacy than you, right? Right. I mean, people, Which means yeah. you kind of lost the competition in, in some way. Even, even uh, even Michael Jordan, like, people have that debate all the time, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, uh, and if you think about me as a player, competing isn't exactly, what like. known for. <laughs> right. But the things that I do care about, supporting, like, a local scene, uh, stuff like that, you know, is definitely still why I went to, like, my locals and stuff like that. I love teaching people Melee, but, I mean, above all else, you know, I like to explore Melee and, like, do some weird shit, so. Right. Yeah. And I think that's, like, one of the really cool things about Melee is, like, there's just so many ways to appreciate the game that I believe are, like, all valid. Mm-hmm. It's, like... You bring so much value with, like, absolutely insane combo videos that, like, with combos that no one has ever thought of. Oh, yeah. And then there are people, like, well, no, who may not, like, win tournaments, but just, like, dedicate their grind to, um, like, tech skill. And yeah. Then there's also people that support, like, local scenes and run tournaments. And there's mm -hmm. just, like, so many ways to, like, appreciate this beautiful game. And Kabi just, like, one of them. Yeah, and it's, you know what, it's, it's kind of the most boring and, like, not really fulfilling to me, you know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. tournaments, like, I don't know, 50 tournaments happen a day. 50 people win a tournament, you know, so many people go into, like, only one person triple shine back air someone, and that's me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, there's nothing wrong with competing, it's just, uh, I found that uh, competing just really isn't, isn't for me. Mm -hmm. Um, I still, I would love to compete in teams still, if that ever, you know, we get back to tournaments and I have a solid teammate, love teams, you know. That I've always, like, taken really seriously. And I've oh, nice. been, like, blessed to have, like, you know, a solid partner probably around my skill level, uh, and we really, like, worked on it together and actually played teams. Because people, yeah. you know, people that play in tournaments, like, they're like, oh, do you want a team? Do you want to play? Yeah, we'll just do it. I mean, me and him, like, actually had, like, rules, yeah. you know, and, like, stuff ah. like... We would never run through each other for any reason ever. So, like, if you're... You know, if you're closer to who needs to die, that's you. I'm here to back you up, but I'm not going to run through you and chaos, cause chaos just to, like, you know, because who knows what can happen. We had, like, things like that, and that's super awesome. And when you're playing with someone else for someone else, it makes you try a little bit harder. I could give a shit if I, you know, <laughs> you know get four-stocked or whatever, but I'm playing for us. Huh. Yeah. I, um, I never cared too, too much about teams until, like, actually this year. So yeah. I started teaming with Ginger, and, like, and we were, like, starting to go static, and we are going to enter a lot of events together. And I was like, oh, this is actually, like, when we both are, like, exclusive to each other, and we both actually try to play the game, like, as a team game, mm -hmm. I don't know, there, there's so much more value. Because for so long, it's like you said, it's like, you'll just go to a tournament and be like, oh, I want a team. Yeah, like, exactly. I never, I never got satisfaction from just like teaming with oh the next best player at the tournament or whatever. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, but definitely like, love actually having a homie is like makes it right. so much more real. Right, and I almost think like if I was ever in charge of a local scene again, I would encourage like teams where like if you team with someone, you have to team with them like for the next month. Like you have to team like for a couple times, not just like randomly here, randomly there, and see if people actually start like building that sort of like chemistry and like you know i think the overall like teams play would get better kind of get more people into teams mm -hmm. definitely just miss teams that's uh i know you still can on like the old netplay or even like you can use right. this but it's not really like it's not very good this... even if you're all close right i've done it's it before different. with people like in my region I did not think you did that tech. Well, I've missed every fucking tech so far today. For, <laughs> for whatever reason, I'm not sure. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, love me some teams. Um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something, and I, I don't want it to come out in a, like, sort of, like, bad way. But it, it's interesting that you, like... You say you're super competitive because I know you've had like your, uh, you know, bouts with uh, depression and stuff like that. So I've always found it like, do you do you think that an unhealthy relationship competing has added to things like that, or is is it the opposite? Um, is it the actually, you know, competing and doing well saved you? You know what I mean in a little sense. Do you get what I'm saying? Have, here? I really like that question. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's like a little bit of both. There have definitely been times where um, I'll, like, lose a tournament and I'll be like, I am worthless. I am, like, not deserving of love. You know, things that are really stupid. Because, like, right. none of my friends are going to stop talking to me because I, like, lost a tournament. That's just, like, not logical. But but I place so much weight in how I do in these tournaments that I, I have kind of formed an unhealthy relationship in some senses. Mm -hmm. um, but on the other hand, I also think... For a long time, competing gave me, like, a purpose in life and, like, gave me a reason to, to like, live, basically. Um, yeah. I think it's definitely been more good than bad. And, and I think only recently it's starting to be more bad than good. Um, and I think a lot of that's because of COVID. Mm -hmm. And I just, like, like, when I win a tournament or whatever on Slippy, I'm like, well, it's net play, whatever. But when I lose, I still have those, like, Mm -hmm. The same, the same negative feelings. Right. Which is why I decided to like try to take a step away a little bit. Yeah, I definitely, I've had uh, friends who had go through the same thing. They uh, are very open about uh, their feelings and like you know their depression, and they. But I also always find the pattern where like they're entering like melee tournaments left and right, and you know, win or lose, it doesn't matter. Like the win doesn't feel good, the losses feel terrible. Like you just said, like. I feel like competing when you're at a certain point is just super bad for you. You know what I mean? Right. Well, no, absolutely. So, I don't know. I honestly, oh, I think it took me a little longer than I probably should have to realize that was happening with me in, like, netplay tournaments, but... Mm -hmm. But, you know, at least I figured it out eventually, I guess. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... But, like... I feel bad when I when I kind of dive into this conversation and bring it up because I don't have like the best answer for people either. Not that I'm trying to force advice on anyone, but it's I I realize that I can't just tell people stop competing or stop doing these tournaments because like, you know, right. everybody's different and, you know, if if people didn't have tournaments, I mean, then they're like you bring on a whole new set of problems, like, man, what do I even do with my time? Like, have I wasted all my time? Like, you start getting into those thoughts. Mm -hmm. Oops. No, I think it's, like, a, a super interesting dis discussion. Um, like, the thing is, I have no faith, or I have no doubt that I'm going to enter more tournaments. Like, even probably on net play. Like, I think if you're feeling that way, where, like, the wins feel whatever and the losses feel horrible, you probably just need a little bit of a break. Mm -hmm. um, maybe focus on something else in your life that's, that's like, a more of a productive, like, outlet. I think someone should do, I mean, 
Listen, there are melee guides for everything. How to smash the eye, how to OMS attack. No one has a melee guide on taking a productive break from mm -hmm. from Smash, and that's that might be something uh, someone needs to do. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's kind of neat. I've, <laughs> I've never thought about making like a tutorial for that. Who is the best I... uh, break taker in Smash, and why is it PPMD? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, he has the world record. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does. <laughs> But, uh, or J-Man, but uh, he took a break for a different reason. I actually don't know why he took a break. Or oh, what uh, I mean, it's the classic <laughs> smasher tale of he stabbed someone in the face and went to jail. But uh, oh. <laughs> I, that's not entirely true. But I think it's kind of true. <laughs> <laughs> true enough. <laughs> Well, I mean, that man invented Modern Fox, and he is not going to get the credit he deserves because of, you know, he grew up troubled, and, you know, I actually kind of feel bad. I never, like, you know, it's easy to throw people away like that, but I, you right. know, when you look at it from a different angle, like, I'm a father. I mean, I just, I just feel bad, like, he didn't have the same tools that I hope to give, you know, my son, uh. right? The environment, you know, so... Yeah, he never... When's the last time anyone has said the word J-Man? And he... You know what I mean? This kind of fox that everyone plays on Netplay, like, just run in and nair shine you and uh, kind of, like, the simple uh, punishes that you see all the time. That's J-Man. All of that. Yeah, I don't know. It's, like... It's a weird mix of he wasn't... He, like, he didn't play after 2013 or 2013, mm -hmm. I, I believe. But he also wasn't in the documentary at all, so it's like he's probably the one of the most notable smashers that's like never never, never talked about. And I mean, you you understand why? To, because you know, how do you explain like the guy that invented Modern Fox? Uh, you know, had such like a had been to jail multiple times and like shit like that. He actually right. uh, once upon a time hit me up and was like, he told me, "Hey, I'm moving to a." Uh, I forget where he said somewhere in PA, uh, kind of close but not really close. But he's like, I wanna, I wanna be the best again. You know what I mean? I wanna like, you know, compete and you know, be up at the top again. I was like, yeah, man, whatever I could do to help. You know, what I mean, because right there, that's like this guy. He wants to play Smash, and it's it's better than anything else he could be doing. Whew, shit. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how long ago is that? At this point, it's got to be like eight years ago, eight uh, years ago, nine years ago, something like that. But um, yeah, just <laughs> if you don't know me by now, I mean, I don't want uh, people to think that I just like make fun of people. Like I just I make fun of everything, but I do at my core feel bad for the homie J man, even though he's done terrible things. But you could still, you know, feel bad for someone who just fell off the like the wrong path you know mm -hmm. all right that kind of nah. that kind of got deep i don't know <laughs> <laughs> back to uh party can... games by the way yeah love <laughs> love these so what other games do you play i'm uh i have a feeling like you play a couple of the games but you're like me i literally only play melee oh no um i'm actually quite a big gamer oh yeah like I was um I was Grandmaster in StarCraft 2, which is like the highest rating. I was never like I was never even close to like a professional or anything, but but huh. I was like pretty proficient. That's what was, I um, see yeah, I don't know anything about StarCraft. You're you were the highest ranked, but like still kind of not like a super crazy top level player. Is that just right. it was, like, was a lot of people like how many grandmasters were there when you were grandmaster? So in each region, there's 200. So there's 200 North American ones, there's 200 European ones, 200 um, Korean ones, or it might be Southeast Asia, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's like I was probably like top 1,000 in the world, maybe, at the time. Oh, okay. It, 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 like maybe even lower. So well, you like, know what? I was like, I'm all right. Uh, I played Zerg for the guy who asked in chat. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zerg. Isn't that the... Uh... Here, yeah, this is where my dad senses come in. He is the uh, enemy of Buzz Lightyear. 
You know, pretty you know, pretty much. They're like they're bugs, basically. Yeah. It's like alien bugs that take over planets. Um So yeah, I've been getting into chess recently as well. Are you a uh, Yeah, you know what? I it's funny when you hit me up or I hit you up and you're like, all right, let me finish this chess match. And I was like, dude, I was just playing chess and it was the first time I've played in maybe over 20 years. Well, that's not oh, true, wow. but like, <laughs> cause I'm, I'm only 28. Uh, but it has been like since like middle school or something. Uh, and I remember I used to be fairly good for my age. I'm not talking, I never went to any like tournament things or like had like a, you know, rating or anything, but I I remember I could beat uh, all of my teachers. Oh, wow. And uh, <laughs> I played it kind of the same way we're playing Fox right now. I kind of just do some shit, and then once, like, <laughs> uh, once a bunch of pe pieces are moved, then I can actually see, like, all right, I kind of have a game plan. Chess is hot right now. Uh, I definitely think the Queen's Gambit is uh, anime for normal people. And, like, people really got into, like, the the character building and, like, uh, people relate to that being just passionate about something and, like, wanting to, like, you know, overcome odds and, like, be really good at something. That is, that's always going to be inspiring. Have Yo. you seen the show? Uh, Queen's I Gambit? Have. Yeah, yeah, I did. I really liked it. I was, like, and I hate watching TV. I'm, like, uh... I haven't enjoyed a show since, like, I don't know, Better Call Saul. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, stories like that are always super inspiring. And, like, if I wasn't so fucking cool, uh, I would watch some, like, animes that are, like, kind of, like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Well, if you ever want to be less cool, you should watch Haikyuu. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is, like, the epitome of what you just said, of, like... Just people being passionate and, like, having Wanting. competition in the game they play. Right. Um, I was listening to our commentary from that mole, the fight pit, and you're like, do you watch Hunter Hunter? And I'm like, <laughs> are, you, are you talking about, uh, I, I, at first I was like, <laughs> I didn't know what that was. <laughs> and I was like, Hunter's playing another Hunter? And did I watch their match? Because I had, a, like, a, a buddy from Pittsburgh named Hunter. <laughs> I was like, who's Hunter Plank? Yeah. And I just was like, oh, I get it. No. <laughs> you know, the, the closest I ever got to, uh, oh ooh, my god. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> the closest I ever got to watching, like, anime like that was, uh, I watched a little bit of Dragon Ball Z when it was on Toonami. And, like, not, Classic. yeah, kind of like just any kid who you know, got home from school and just was watching Cartoon Network. Um, I think I only watched, like, somewhere in the middle of Cell Saga to somewhere in the middle of Boo Saga. Yeah, what's up, Dark Evil Prince? <laughs> For those who know, Dark Evil Prince is a legend. Ooh, I think he followed me today. Did he? Good, because uh, <laughs> that's important. You're going to need that for clout reasons <laughs> he's the only man who uh has ever gotten a gamecube controller stuck in a power line <laughs> like a retired basketball shoe in the hood shit uh. it's, just, it's just supposed to be shines um yeah he's the only guy who did that and he's always telling you to check your inbox <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to talk about uh, what we love to talk about more than anything Ooh, when we talk. I, I know it's coming. <laughs> Shane Walter Johns, a.k.a. DJ Eggs. <laughs> Man, what I a... love that you call him DJ Eggs. It's like it's like calling a doctor by, by like, Dr. X, you know? It's like, yeah. gotta, gotta show him respect by adding DJ to his tag. Well, you know what? I was thinking about that, too, when uh, I was in your chat earlier, and you were like, people shorten tags sometimes, and sometimes people shorten your tag to fat, which is funny. <laughs> uh, and I <laughs> I started thinking about, like, some of the uh, short, er, shortened tags that are, like, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, I guess M2K or something like that. But, like, some tags aren't okay to be shortened. 
I get upset when people don't say Luigi Call Master, and they just say Call Master. <laughs> <laughs> I've never called him Luigi Comas. Well, fuck you, uh, and call the man who has earned his whole name. You know what I mean? It's not a, it's not a burden to say the whole thing. I'll say it proudly, Luigi Comaster. <laughs> that was an angle for the ages. Ah, uh, oh. Dude, I actually can't get out of down throw. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I always well. When I think about, like, things, uh, like, melee, like, things like that, so down throw at the edge, that's cool. That's step one. Step two is uh, reading the meteor cancel and then doing something else, and that's what I do a lot of. Uh, for the longest time, when Mewtwo King would do that, because I've played a lot of Mewtwo King. We talked about that last time uh, oh, wow. we talked. Uh, he would always do that down throw. And then he would uh, turn around up tilt. And I was like, why is he doing that? Like, they're super down there, but he's covering, like, you know, a tech, like... Like immediate double jump or something. Right, or immediate double jump. And, like, that's an... It, like, if you think that whole process through, uh, double jump, and then they get up tilted right there, that's, like, cash. Yeah, yeah. Oh, next one. Hell yeah. I got some Fox tech skill when I'm not, uh... <laughs> Super wrapped up and being entertaining. I could get some. I'm gonna fucking hit this tech. God damn it! <laughs> I have missed Dude, every single tech. <laughs> talking while playing melee is hard, but talking while playing melee with someone who's like better than you is that you... impossible. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh man. Oh, that uh, reminds me of what I did want to talk about was the recent uh, matches you played with Ken and. Uh, <laughs> The, I was so I, I was infuriated for you like watching the first VOD of him playing your Falco and it's it's so smug of Ken to just because I mean I've only met Ken once uh, and it, it's like when you meet him kind of in passing and like talk for like a minute you don't really get but man I watched him play Survivor and I know and I've watched him in Smash obviously and that guy is smug, and he's just sitting there, down tilting, in place for two whole stocks, and just <laughs> making fun of, uh, you know, people for using tech skill, as if like, you know, we're all brain dead lizard people, and he's right. the king king of Smash, and he's just like, oh, look at that tech skill, and I'm just like, I want to fucking slap you. I know Fat Goku will destroy you, and I, <laughs> I am. Uh, did you uh, did you see our second session? I did. And I'm okay. and I'm glad for it because <laughs> he was like, "Oh, this guy's actually kind of good." I'm like, "Yeah, now you're yeah, turn that down because oh, I was so yeah. mad for you." <laughs> the thing is, I actually I didn't care. So, right. Like those those friendlies were at like seven in the morning or something, and I had woken up the day before at like seven p.m. because my sleep schedule was really bad, so I was like. Shit. really disgustingly tired during those friendlies and i was also playing falco and i was like whatever also game one i like i threw on purpose because i thought it like my plan was to get like three stocked mm -hmm. just like being the biggest noob i could possibly be and then i was gonna try really hard game two and win and he was gonna be like wait what happened like <laughs> he and his controller to his brother or something yeah but then i lost game two anyway but i didn't care because it's like whatever it's, it's falco and you know, I'm tired. Like, it's just, it's just not a big deal. Yeah, it probably doesn't matter. But then, like, two people made Reddit threads. Or maybe the same guy, but he made two Reddit threads on r slash SSBM and r slash Smash Bros. Yeah, he and, really... Like, he needed to spread the, uh, the Ken propaganda. Right, and, like, most of the comments were totally chill and fine. And I was like, oh, whatever, like... It's fine. I think this is, like, this is, like, a funny meme that he, like, beat my Falco. But, like, some people in the comments were just being, like, really dumb. They're like, oh, if I was Fat Goku, I'd be so mad. Like, I can't believe you got embarrassed so hard by Ken. It's like, dude, I, yeah, I'm alright. couldn't give more of a shit, <laughs> I'm okay, really. Dude. Yeah, and then when he, the first time when he found out it was you, he's like, oh, get wrecked, Fat Goku. Get wrecked. And I'm just like, I, I know if you ever play him again, you will sing a different song, my friend. <laughs> He will, uh, who was the guy that won Survivor that, uh, season? Uh, I oh, he's a legend, Bob. Yeah, he will Bob you, <laughs> motherfucker. 
<laughs> he will sugar you. He will uh, matty you. You are. Oh, uh, I, I remember sugar. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude. She's like the only. She was like homies with Ken, right? I uh. That was the only season of Survivor I've ever watched in my life. Really? When you know what? Yeah. It's a great season of Survivor because I watch Survivor all the time. Oh, nice. I actually think it's one of like the better seasons that no one ever talks about, and obviously, like, you know. We had this special connection because we knew someone on it. But, like, man, it was actually a good season. Maybe I'm being biased. I don't know. But I've seen Survivor, and I I love that season. I'm going to uh, put together a montage of every Shine Spike offstage. <laughs> it's so many. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> There's another one for the comp. Hell, yeah. Keep them coming. So uh, it's just because we're on Dreamland, you know. I want to. I want to get kills as efficiently as possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And killing off the top just takes too long. Oh yeah. See, so you got that. Uh, you got that solid foundation of. Uh... <laughs> See right there. That is something that I think people will need to do more. Instead of just wave dashing to the edge, just do this little like back air, like skip, cover two things. Uh huh. No, I like it. Yeah. Sometimes against Marth, I'll um I'll do it with drill, mm -hmm. and like the very last hit will like will just hit them, kind of hit them. Like, yeah. Then you can like kind of grab edge, and it's like it's kind of tricky and like niche, but I think mm -hmm. it's like, pretty. Oh no, pretty, I, pretty I, I I like that too. Shit. <laughs> um. More recently. I've been messing with Fox Firefox offensively. I Oh people say shit like that all the time, but like it's coming from me. So I am gonna, gonna say I, I believe you. <laughs> people uh I mean usually if someone says that they're like you know, they've been playing the game for like a year and they're like an O two er and you're just like, Okay. But when it comes from you, I'm like, Alright. I'm down to see some aggressive upbees. <laughs> My uppies have been uh, really good off stage, so I'm gonna bring them on stage. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not working off stage, so. So I gotta use them, on, yeah, on stage for sure. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I I love when people are like, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this my thing. Like, why does no one do this? And they're like, they're terrible. And like, I can tell you like right now, that's why people don't do it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I do that could be replaced with the super uh, easy option, you know what I mean? But that's not why we play Melee. That's not why we right. love Melee. That's not why we want a free Melee. That's not why we don't want to, we don't want to save Melee, you know? Have you heard the, the recent Splatoon news just I now? I did. Mm -hmm. Dude, I can't, I actually can't believe that Nintendo is being so persistent about this. I, I just don't think that they're getting any benefits from from being dicks to us at all. Mm -hmm. It's it's not like they cancel melee and I'm like gonna go out and like buy a copy of Ultimate because that's the game I'm gonna play now. Like, right? They're just <laughs> I they're just like being douchebags for literally no reason. You know what we need? We need uh we need a celebrity to endorse our message. We need uh who's the biggest celebrity Smash can get. And I hope it's not Dylan Sprouse or something like that. Uh, uh. <laughs> um, dude, who? What are some celebrities? Oh, there's that one like boxer recently, but oh yeah, I did uh, see do that. Can you help from me calling him that one boxer? I don't really know him. <laughs> uh huh. Ooh, <laughs> oh, Dark Goku! I put in the shine input too, and I thought I just did some crazy <laughs> shit. Oh man, that sucks. Aww. Because, you know, box gets shined and they turn some different colors and I was like, that was you dead. <laughs> That's uh, the worst feeling. But yeah, we could we could definitely get you know I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna long shot some shit. I'm gonna get Juju Smith Schuster, uh who you might know from the Pittsburgh Steelers, who you might know oh. from playing Fortnite with Ninja and Drake. Yeah, uh Get him on the melee bandwagon. Oh, you know who plays Smash that's fucking famous? Le'Veon Bell. Uh, Who's that? He he was also a Pittsburgh Steeler. He was, like, one of the best running backs in the league. Like, all pro. And he went to a couple ultimate locals in Columbus this year. 
Oh, really? Or not this year, but uh, before COVID. Yeah, he was starting to play. Uh, he plays Mega Man, and he's not bad. He went like three and two, <laughs> you know? Oh, that's actually crazy. Yeah, yeah. And Dude, this... I don't know. What I think we should actually just do is get like Elon Musk to just buy Nintendo. Because like, I don't know, he's kind of a shit poster. I feel like he'd be down. Oh, yeah. And then he can, he can just, you know, let, let us do our own thing. Yeah, I definitely need to get a big celebrity on board, and then uh, we'll solve that. We'll solve uh, <laughs> Smash's problems one at a time. Uh, for the for the people that have been following the <laughs> other problem in Smash, where we are getting these copyright uh, <laughs> infringement things, I uh, don't worry. Damn it, I have saved you. <laughs> I have an idea. What's that? Have any Smashers gotten DMCA'd? I don't know, but I mean, they're definitely... This whole thing, I don't understand. These, like, Twitch, uh, especially on Twitch. I don't know, YouTube's different, but Twitch... Amazon owns everything, bro. Why isn't there, like, a Amazon Music, uh, like, service where, like, you know, you can link it to your Twitch, and then uh -huh. you, you could be cool? You know what I mean? Amazon's gonna own fucking everything <laughs> in the next like ten years. That is there not an Amazon Music? I don't think there is, and I also that's do... insane. That's like the only thing they don't have. Right, and you know, speak now. All right, I need to take this stock without losing one. All right, this is gonna be the only <laughs> honest stock of melee. This is the only, the only <laughs> stock that matters in, this, in the whole game. We're definitely both going to just try hard really quick, as you can see. <laughs> oh. Shit. Does shine up air work? Is that a thing? No, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to shine wave uh, back air, and I missed it. Uh, oh man, <laughs> that was uh, that was very good and relatively quick. See these 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 kind of go yeah, quick. Was, uh, cool. You know, I'm I'm not here to try to get all these stocks. I just want to have a good conversation. I even I have this whole thing in notes of like topics that I didn't even touch because <laughs> we just had such good conversation. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah! Well, we didn't, we didn't really talk about eggs at all, did we? We really didn't talk about <laughs> eggs for, and I, I and I allotted forty five minutes of just talking about DJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like you have a pie chart of how you predict the conversation will go, and it's like seventy five percent eggs, twenty five percent other. Yeah, other, and that's just Fox or I don't know something <laughs> yeah. stupid. Oh yeah, but um, yeah, thanks for playing. Um, I am down to play a little more, and then play a quick game of chess. I think that'll be really fun. Yeah, for sure. I'm down. Uh, let me... I'm going to do something for my own...